This door's magnetically sealed. I can't believe this. 
The ship's right out there, and we can't get to it. Huh? What is that piece of junk saying? How can you even understand that noise? Alright, well, if he can slice the door open from the terminal above, don't let me stop him. Say the word. More where that came from. We're gonna need some time to fire up the engines. Let's give the laser turret a workout.
out of here! There is no time. We must leave. hit us, we're dead. But if they keep missing us, we're dead. It's great odds. Somebody shut that trash compactor up! What are the asteroids? They can be destroyed by us as well as them, can they not? That'll take out the whole field, the colony, and maybe us. We might not even be able to jump to hyperspace in time. Then we die here. Choose now. Hold on! This is gonna get a little rocky. Well, now that we just killed a planet, maybe one of you can tell me what's going on. Because between assassin droids, a Sith Lord that looks like he sleeps with vibroblades, and being target practice for a Republic warship, I was better off in my cell. The Republic warship was the Harbinger. It was seized on its way to Telos by the Sith. They sought you, Jedi. Yes, to aid in the recovery effort there. Many roads lead to Telos, including ours. Not like we have much of a choice, the Paragus astrogation charts being what they are. It is where we must go, and where the Harbinger was bound before our unfortunate encounter on Paragus. You were difficult to find, but coincidence was on our side. When I learned that you were on the vessel, I knew the Sith would not be far behind. When we intercepted the Harbinger, it was crippled, drifting in space. It was a simple matter to board the vessel and rescue you. Unknown to me, however, the Sith were already on board. Just as we made the jump to hyperspace, they fired upon us, nearly destroying the Ebon Hawk. True. But as one trained in the Force, you know that true coincidences are rare. Whatever occurred on board the Harbinger had rendered you unconscious. Though your thoughts were faint, I was still able to find you sealed in one of the cargo holds. I do not know how the Ebon Hawk was able to make it to per Be silent. We're having a conversation here. Repaired this ship, my eye. Next thing you know, it's gonna claim credit for saving our skins. If that little noisemaker says it repaired the ship once, then it can prove it by doing it again. Go on, get! Because you are the last of the Jedi. Once you are dead, then they have won. Exile or not, the Sith believe you to be a Jedi Knight, and that is all that matters. The Jedi Civil War destroyed the Jedi. By the war's end, barely a hundred Jedi remained. Many fell in battle, and many more were seduced by Revan's teachings. Many Jedi blamed the teachings of the Jedi Masters for Revan's fall, and the civil war that followed. The Jedi Academy on Dantooine is nothing more than a crater that echoes with the ghosts of dead Jedi, and the Jedi Temple on Coruscant lies empty. 
The waters in the room of a thousand fountains have fallen still in reverence to the fallen Jedi and those now lost. Perhaps, but they are Jedi no longer. If the Sith have not already slain them, then they will not help you, nor can you help them. That is not an easy question to answer. This threat is greater than you know, and I do not believe it is a battle that can be fought. Look, enough with the Wii already. We cannot hope to triumph against them alone. To stop them, you will need weapons, allies, and a teacher. In the end, I fear it may not be enough. You fought in the Mandalorian Wars, and it cost you everything. Are you willing to sacrifice as much again? You are not listening to me. This is not like any field of battle you have ever fought in. Think carefully on your choice. If you choose to fight, if you choose war, it is a path few turn from once the first steps are taken. It carries with it a terrible price. And in the end, you may find you have nothing left to sacrifice. <laughs> Your fool's words echo of a Jedi. You have much to learn. But we have spoken long enough, and my wound pains me. If you have other questions, find me in the crew quarters. There, we will speak more. Hey, don't stop your long, boring rants on my account. I was just getting sleepy-eyed. Also, in private, we will be mercifully free from the opinions of imbeciles and fools. Look, uh, not like I care or anything, but you might want to go check on our passenger, especially with that hand of hers. We're on autopilot until we hit Telos. Until then, a droid could fly this thing. Besides, I think our passenger could use your help. I think she was barely keeping it together. I'm surprised she's able to stand with all that pain rolling off of her. Are you blind? If I were her, I'd be screaming like a stuck Minoc. Well, I mean, a very strong, manly Minoc. I think she's just too proud to show any weakness. Especially in front of you. In case you hadn't noticed, she won't say two words to me. But she'll talk your ear off any chance she gets. What you think matters to her. A lot. She wants you to respect her. Besides, we haven't got much else to do until Telos. Oh, don't give me that. All it takes is being around people enough to read them. You should try it sometime. <laughs>